My name is Phil Guyman. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years, but at the end of 2016, I realized that I had to quit racing and get a job. I couldn't be the best at pro cycling, so I've decided to be the absolute worst at retiring. All right, welcome to Vancouver. We're here for a couple days. Our host and our guide is, is Chris from Velofix here. Chris is the CEO of uh, Good Partner Velofix. I might have the record for being in the most Velofix van passenger seats. That's Who's true. been in more than me? Me. Yeah? But other okay. than me. Other than you, nobody. so we're second. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so thank you know, thanks for coming to Vancouver. Yeah. So real quick, retiring. Yeah. Like you're terrible at it. I'm not, I'm not no, doing well you're, at it. No, you're really bad. Nope. So what's, why? I, the evidence would suggest that I enjoy this. Is I'm, I'm having more and more trouble denying that I like training and riding my bike uphill fast. This trip is all about going after KOMs. I don't know if you're familiar with that concept, bit, but yeah. Strava, uh, in Vancouver here, we've got what we call the Triple Crown. So yep. Vancouver's got three ski hills right outside the city, mm -hmm. Cypress, Grouse, and Seymour. Yep. Um, and some guys will ride that all in one day. It's a huge right. effort. I don't think anybody's ever attempted three KOM, KOMs before. All three, all three in one yeah. day. Um, probably unheard of. I mean, nobody could even yeah. get their head It'd around that. It would be probably, KOMs, yeah. I, I don't think it's a smart idea, but uh, that would be what we're doing. Vancouver, for a town where it seems to be too cold most of the time, there's a lot of outdoorsy stuff. There's a lot of, everyone's pretty fit. Um, so there's there's a what's the park that we're gonna go to Stanley Park yeah we'll hit that uh, we'll hit that tomorrow I mean the weather is fantastic you know I know uh, I know you're used to LA weather right um, but this is we call this a toque a toque I'm toque. familiar with toques a okay so this way is a better word than beanie yeah like there isn't a proper word for this hat and toque needs Americans pick it up because toque is the way to do it yeah T O Q U E T O Q U E T O Q U E mm -hmm. toque yeah and so it's best with a little dealy what's this yeah, thing yeah. called on the top is there a name I for don't that? know if there's a name for that all right Not it's that now called an awesome awesome there you okay, go okay done yeah so now you'll be warm mm hmm oh it's so much better oh yeah so so for these for these KOMs that I'm going for tomorrow the what's the exchange rate on time so if it's a 20 minute KOM the exchange rate is 70 percent yeah, you got about a 30% exchange rate. If you deduct that from your, you know, your being an ex-professional, you have to add that back so, in. Oh, So then shoot. you'd be at 100% of it goes back, which would make it about 70%. I was hoping I'd get a couple minute cushion. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Vancouver is also the start of the Great Trail, which is uh, partly funded by, by my friends at Cliff Bar. It goes all the way from the west coast. It does a loop all the way up to the north. And basically, it's, it's, it says it's 24,000 kilometers of trail, but all of Canada is connected. Um, they have an app and everything. But uh, So you're thinking about riding Very it, cool initiative. Uh, not today. No. <laughs> <laughs> not today. Um, I'll do it one day. I'll come with a big beard. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah that'd I'll be smell awesome. horrible. I would, uh, I'd be prepared to, to send you on that trip. Are <laughs> you a Volo fan? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If I get a van, we'll get a van to around. follow you yeah. around. Okay, deal. Let's do it. Deal. So the cyclists in Vancouver have, have three climbs that they kind of test themselves on, right Chris? And uh, the first one we're going to do today is, uh, is called Cypress. Not steep, but definitely like a climb. Um, looks, looks super steady. There's not a, not a whole lot to it, effort-wise. Yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of the, the main one in the city, so one of the closest ones from downtown. People come up and ride, and uh, as you said, it's not, uh, not too steep, but mm -hmm. you know, big steady effort for, uh, for most lookout. of it. And, uh, the lookout is outrageous, nice view of the city. There is some smog, I'm told, but the smog kind of looks all right. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it uh, forest fires here in oh, Canada. Yeah, right, 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 yeah, you're right. There's no smog in Canada. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, it's it's okay. caused by uh, natural disaster, mm -hmm. not human-made. <laughs> it's an important distinction. <laughs> um, where are the cypress trees? Uh, right they're in California. Oh, yeah. Okay, we yeah. sold those too. Yeah, I'm not sure why they call it Cypress Mountain. To be honest, we should have done some recon. There has that. to be one Cypress tree. Yeah, no, I don't think if so. You're, if you're a hardworking business person, you sneak out of town, you do your intervals here at, at 7 a.m. and then you and then you head into the office. That's true. Real yeah. Type A stuff. Yeah, and so you're in the office Cypress. at nine, and then you tell everybody you had a couple meetings before that. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's standard protocol yeah. on the West Coast. Perfect.
didn't blow it out of the water. I think I got it by like a minute. It wasn't, you know, five minutes. The level is high in Vancouver, as we figured, you know? All right, that was Cypress. I didn't know I was gonna have a domestique on an e-bike playing uh, hip hop for me. I guess there's skiing up here sometimes. There's uh, some nice trees. So let's go see the next one. Between, between climbs, between suffering, and between your exercises, uh, we recommend chocolate and, and delicious sandwiches at, uh, at Thomas Haas Patisserie. Is that how you, yeah. Just like, I got it, I nailed it, and then yeah. I questioned myself. Um, so, how many, tell, tell us how you ended up here. You have a cool story. I just asked you a question to interrupt you. One of those foremost chocolatiers in the world is, is sitting right here in Vancouver. I got evicted from Germany in my early 20s. Mm -hmm and uh, thrown out of the country to Switzerland. I have my grandparents for different reasons. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> no, so it, it's actually a little bit by coincidence, but to cut a long story short, um, I got kind of headhunted to become a pastry chef here at the Four Seasons Hotel and loved it, fell in love with my wife now too as well and stayed here for three years, went to New York for a few years, worked for some French prima donna, three-star Michelin chef, and then mm -hmm. came back and um, ended up of actually started in the basement of thinking would be a good idea to make chocolates not that i haven't done that before so right. i started when i was 16 and uh and it turned into this into this little crazy thing which doesn't allow yeah. me to write up um seymour or cypress in 26 minutes because if you eat three pastries a day you look like me yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> i would look much different from you if i was here more often um, no and there's just this little out of the way district and then there's a Willy Wonka scenario in there that uh, I'm very excited to explore. Right. Oh you come at the right you come at the right time when the butter takes over the kitchen. You smell that? I think they can smell it. Yeah it's, it's not me. <laughs> oh my god. Wait so this is butter? Okay so yeah this is this is butter, yep. which we cut to squares uh, for our croissants. Mm -hmm. uh, Five hundred pounds a week. This is how. M this is for one croissant each sheet. Yeah. I just tasted it. Each one is one croissant, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Makes it like this or like this. <laughs> if you want to get personal with chocolate, you can do it here. I'm gonna need to be alone here for about five minutes. Yeah. Two minutes is plenty, actually. Yeah. Okay. So here comes a real question. Okay. So, eight inches. <laughs> that That's is. How long it's true at all. <laughs> what weight can it carry? So, anyways, your bike. I mean, <laughs> so if you go, if you okay, so you hammer up there, mm -hmm. and then you think you recover fully to go up Seymour in the same kind of power speed. Or right. When I was racing, I could do two in the same day and be just as fast. Now I'm definitely going to be slower in the second one. Yeah. That's that's how it works. It'll yeah. not be a good... Would be... Yeah. Could be still... You could still make it. Get the time of the skinny... I think Montreal it's possible. I could go fast. Who's 111 pounds soaking wet. But he was four foot seven too. Well, why, should you, to why is he riding soaking wet? Yeah. Um, <laughs> what about gross? Where's should the, I get wet? The, uh, <laughs> this is the most German thing you can ever eat in Canada with quark cheese from a German farmer. Doesn't come with an Italian accent, comes with a, yeah, this is quark. 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 <laughs> good? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's not a chocolate yeah. chip cookie. No, it's, it's, it's almost as good as a cookie. We also have this rule, you do your own dishes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is, I think this is the most beautiful climb in, in, around, in mm -hmm. and around Vancouver. It's, I call it like the real European climb. It's 12 kilometers. It's very inconsistent, steep, a little flat, a little steep. Yeah. Beautiful switchbacks. Yeah, and, right. um, um, yeah, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, all right, they all hurt. Okay, let's do it, thanks. Let's do it. <laughs> The 
I did 34 flat. I wonder what the time was. Yeah. I had to get. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. 34. Oh man. So yeah, I had exactly enough chocolate. Any less, I wouldn't have made And pastries, it. and yeah, yeah, yeah. and sandwich, right. and espressos. <laughs> All right, so the time to beat was uh, 34, 30 something. Um, I wasn't having the, the live thing wasn't working on me, so I didn't know how I was doing, but I, I did uh, 33, 54. So I got, I got two in one day. Uh, definitely didn't feel as good as the first one. Uh, Chris said I looked better, but I think he was just being nice, uh, as Canadians do that. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, Tommy was right. Real, real Euro style. It's a, uh, it's log cabin at the top. It's very Swiss up here. Um, all right, that's two. One left. Grouse, here we come. So the last climb of the day is a. Uh, Grouse Mountain. Grouse. 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 Mountain. Set this uh, this lovely dam here. Yeah, this is uh, drinking water for Vancouver. Uh, lions, two peaks up there. And then if you look up here, you see the uh, the gondola to the top of Grouse Mountain, and underneath that's the world famous Grouse Grind. So we're gonna do that after the after the sure. bike portion. You're gonna do the hike portion. Shut up! No. See what the legs. No, are I've about. had enough. This is bad. So this is so we've done the Triple Crown, not in usual order. If there's a, a normal order. And we're on the final stage, so we have two two KOMs. We have mm -hmm. two KOMs, and this is the final stroke, uh, Grouse Mountain, last steep, of the Triple Crown. The steep, steep, sharp one is the one that's deep. Yeah, I should have done that first if I was thinking this through. Yeah. Because you stay, you keep your, your high end, or it's, you know, it, what's done is done. Yeah. You got to do it. Um, this is one point one miles. Minutes, right? It's five minutes. It's going to hurt more than the other ones. Good. Um, and then I'm watch. taking the van back, and the Velofix van drive me back. I don't even want to ride down. That's how lazy I am right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. I think you've earned it. Thank you. Okay. This is not the first take because I forgot what mountain I was on, but that was uh, that was grouse, grouse, grouse. grouse. Um, I didn't see any cypresses on cypress. I didn't see any grouse. I didn't see any birds at all on this one. No birds. Vancouver is full of crap. Sorry. Um, I got that one. Somebody's gonna kill that with me because I don't. I wasn't going that fast, and I'm tired. Um, people are hiking over here. It's it's beautiful. There's the trees and the the dam and all that things. Um, all right, I'm gonna. I don't know how to use this. Turn the camera off while I charge the... I was gonna put it in my mouth. We're just not gonna do that. <laughs> that All right, that was it for the Triple Crown. Tomorrow we just do a nice, pleasant ride, right? There's no... I don't have to be any Strava monkey tomorrow. No, we're just gonna enjoy the parks tomorrow. Yep.